Hello, folks. Welcome back to our channel. It's the new year, folks. Happy new year. Happy new year, everyone. So we wanted to go over kind of what what goals we oh had God. for 2020 and what actually got accomplished. What are our goals? No, no claws. What are you doing? A year ago, we were living in KC, Kansas City, Missouri. Not Kansas City, Kansas. <laughs> Suburban Kansas City. Uh, in a rental. In this little quaint town of Sugar Creek. In a rental on a half an acre. Yeah, it was probably like a half acre. Maybe a quarter. <laughs> Maybe. It was really big to us. Is he <laughs> scratching you? No, don't worry about me. So I checked Facebook because I always leave my New Year's resolutions there. And there was a lot of like, you know, personal non-homesteading related ones. Um, I think the only two homestead related things were get at least one homestead animal. And then the other one was grow more veggies. Hmm. We definitely will already win. Is he trying to bite you? No, we will win the grow more veggies because we grew nothing last year. So we already won that one. Check that off our bucket list. We checked what? Grow lots of veggies. No, we, did, we didn't do that this year though. Not last we year? It, we did it the year before. Yeah, we didn't do it last year. So this yeah. year will be very successful yes. no matter what. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, kitty kitty go. <laughs> We didn't grow anything this past year because we moved too late in the growing season. We couldn't seed start and- There was weeds. There were so many weeds. Pre-existing, we I should problems. say. The year before we'd actually grown more in our rental than we had. Um, <laughs> don't touch his skin, he'll puff Baby. up like a puffer fish. Look at that butt. <laughs> Woohoo! It's a skunk. <laughs> what the? Back to so gardening. We got so many homestead animals in 2020. Got chickens goats and, and chickens. goats. It was a great year for that. We were in a Kansas oh, and City a rental. Oh, and an extra dog and two cats. These were not by choice. We inherited these animals. Definitely check the homestead oh, animal stuff. <laughs> Is he hurting you? It's fine. It's just his claws. <laughs> right, we've never had cats before, so getting clawed is a little new to us. Don't nibble. don't bite. We need to grow more veggies. Um, but like a year ago, he was having interview after interview after interview. A year straight, almost of interviews. It was a year and a half. Yeah, something crazy. Almost, almost a year and a half of interviews. He would get to the final stage. He would get flown out. All, everything, everything seemed fine. And at the very end, very last minute, he wouldn't make the cut. Yep. Alaska Airlines, American Airlines, Lots a hospital airlines. in Cleveland, nonstop. It was super frustrating. Like I cried a lot. <laughs> we were, we've been wanting to homestead for, well, it had been about four years by then. And we, we just wanted to live rurally in the country, not in the city. We hated the city and we'd lived in a town, I think the le least amount of people was 30,000 people in our town, in Pullman, Washington. And we really liked it. We didn't like the scenery so much. It was pretty, but it wasn't for us. We wanted forests. Our plan was to live in the Oregon coast. So he was looking for jobs in Oregon and just never could find anything, right? So we started expanding our search. So wherever, in, oh, anywhere <laughs> and everywhere. Especially the Pacific Northwest. We were like, okay, anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, That'd be great. And he was taking- I'm too thrilled about me applying to Texas jobs. Nope. He applied to Texas jobs, AKA American Airline. And I had no intention of like letting him take that job. No intention whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this job in Northern Idaho came up and it was the most rural job placement you could find that was like techie. You know what I mean? He's gotten a master's in applied mathematics, so. I pretend to be smart. At any rate, well, he went for it. And by that point, COVID was starting to really gain ground. Um, March, April. Yeah, so you had like your first interviews in the beginning of March. Yeah, it was about a week after I, sometime that everyone worked from home. Yeah, a week after his first interview everybody started working from home and then they said no we'll do more interviews eh. right yeah they'll do more interviews and we got the news that he had the job april 2nd 
and his start date was April 27th. So we had to pack up and we had to be out of our house, completely moved out and, and move across halfway across the country again, to, right back to what, four hours away from where we'd lived before we moved to Kansas City, Missouri. Yep. And so we knew what the trip was like. And so it was kind of like very, it was very daunting to say the least. We didn't even know that we could afford to buy a house. Until a week after I got the job. Yeah. Yep. So we were scrambling to look for homes in KC while we were packing. And all I did was consumed about the inspection, everything. Well, we yes. were working with the realtor finding the home. We had a home when we moved on the 27th. Yeah. Not technically ours, but in the process. We had never seen this place before we moved here. The, okay. You know, true COVID style stuff, right? The realtor was very concerned for us. So she was very picky about this house and she was very picky uh, to the owner about what needed to be done and what needed to be inspected and what they needed to be doing to get ready for us to move in. She really fought for us and that was one of the reasons why we were able to get this house and, and you know, close on it. A year ago, we had no idea what we were headed towards. We thought it would be five years. 2020 was a really horrible year for a lot of people, a lot of devastation and a lot of loss. And it's, for us, it wasn't, it was a great year. It was um, very scary and a lot of hard work but i think we thrived and we achieved our ultimate life dream of settling down somewhere really really beautiful and buying our own place and buying our own homestead and buying all of our homestead things getting a job with unlimited growth potential yes i really wanted kaylin to get a job where he actually felt appreciated what's he doing he moved the camera how he rubbed on it. <laughs> yeah, we're cool. I was tired of seeing him bored at work and tired of seeing him not have any appreciation from his bosses, really. It was, it was sucky, his job. And now he's doing stuff where he can experiment and he has appreciation and recognition from his bosses and he's just having a great time. Uh, inventing stuff and making huge leaps forward in his field of study, if you will. It's pretty cool stuff. And he got gets to work from home and be with all of us, so that's really awesome too. What are your goals for this coming, for this year, 2021? 2021, you guys had have guessed it, I definitely want to reach 400 pounds deadlifting. You think I can do okay. it? Okay. She doesn't like my, she asked me a question and then she doesn't like my. Well, I was asking well, uh, more about like homestead fine. goals. She wants this homestead is a homesteading goals. channel, fine. but. I'm going to deadlift a 400 pound barn. <laughs> How's that sound guys? These barns are a little more than 400 pounds. Now we ordered 52 meat chickens and however many other normal egg laying chickens. And I have to build a barn before they come. And hopefully the so ground will be frozen. So building a barn frozen. for the chickens. A goat barn and a garden and improve your weightlifting skills. Got it. And then... What about a raise? <laughs> baby, stand up. I'll raise it to the ceiling. Oh, uh, I need to do the well house as well. Um, it has a really non-existent wall where the electrical box is. The wiring needs redone and I wanna move all the well stuff onto one half of the building and completely shut it down and insulate it. So, so that it's one a half lot is less just money. 100% the well, well stuff and then the other side is 100 percent workshop stuff the only reason we'll have to go into the well is to feed the cats because that's where we keep the cats so we don't get mice my homesteading goals is probably just to focus on the chickens and the garden i really really want to do well with this garden this year no more i want her kansas around. city garden flourishing i want to grow a ton of stuff i want to be very attentive towards it figure out uh how this climate works and how the weeds work yeah i just want to grow a lot of stuff a lot of stuff I want and her. preserve it. Preservation of food is going to be huge up there on my to-do list. I want to improve my strength and my weightlifting skills. We really need firewood as well, as Firewood's of every year. a big goal, of course, but yeah, clearing that's, the that's property. every year. It's clearing the property yes, more importantly. Yes, clearing the property. Our forest is super dense and we really need to cut down all the little twiggy trees. The cars need some TLC in the spring as well. This is all boring.
No one likes our stuff. So what do you want me to say? <laughs> so. Uh, goat babies. By the end of the year, my goal is to have a full-size parrot. I want to, you know, have very healthy goat babies and keep a few and grow our herd. I also, for 2021, I want to grow our orchard and make our orchard really flourish. I'm going to be doing a lot of pruning this year, so it's not going to be any... There's not going to be any fruit, really, but it's going to be good for my orchard. Yeah, and if you talk about your homestead, I talk about my living quarters. Probably oh, some God, exterior the house. stuff. The house. With a sliding door. I would love... things around. Maybe a window on the outside in the bathroom. Just miscellaneous things. I would love to paint the exterior of this house because it looks like crap. It doesn't photograph well. That's about it. Uh, stay, stay together and keep our relationship healthy. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we about covered it. Uh, I think the conclusion is that everybody should take away from this. You can do so many things that you think you can't do. It's possible. You just gotta shoot for the stars, I guess. Uh, it's cliche. And I would have laughed in your face if you told me that a year ago because at that point I was pretty jaded about this whole getting out of Missouri thing. For the audience who doesn't know, what does the word jaded mean? <laughs> cynical. And what does cynical <laughs> mean? I'll have to get you a dictionary. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get jaded. Uh, stay positive. I never thought that I could even make YouTube videos a year, a year ago. I hadn't even been making YouTube videos. I didn't know. I'd never touched any video editing software in my entire life. And I had never made a YouTube video before. I thought it was super, super hard and not that it, you know, is super easy, but it is doable. We already have 300 something subscribers. That's incredible. And I'm so grateful for y'all making this happen. If we can get uh, monetized someday to help pay for things on the homestead, that would be so sick. Love that. Um, so thank you for everyone who follows our videos, watches, and comments, and shares. That is an amazing thing you're doing for us, and we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next vlog. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>